My name is John Widman. My name is Pierre Finn. I am Nashir John Mohammed. My name is Micah Smith. My name is Virginia Pettis. My name is Udolf Mero. My name is Ryan Voce. Andrew Condi. Andrew Jackson. My name is Stay Ting Song. Upright bass. Upright bass. Guitars. Acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar. We also use acoustic guitar, an electric guitar running through a, a Marshall amplifier. An electric guitar through an amplifier. Violin. Violin as well. Vocals. Both female and male vocal. Vocal. Female vocal. Male vocals. Soprano and alto saxophone. Horns. Trombone. Trombone and a little bit of flute. I also recorded an Asian flute. Hammond organ. Leslie cabinet on a Hammond. Piano. Hand percussion. Tyco drums. And overheads on drum mics. We used overheads for the drums. Drum overheads. Drum overheads. Mainly overheads and drum overheads. There was a world of difference in clarity. Less noise in the digital mics, definitely, in the signal. A lot less. I guess the main word that comes to mind is clarity. It actually sounds like what you're hearing in the room. It sounds like the instrument rather than what you would expect it to sound like going into the console. It's very, very clean, very pristine. Comparison to them, it was just completely unparalleled. Like, the clarity that the Neumann mics had was just completely just absolutely pure and you could hear everything. The most obvious thing was the high end, the clarity and the high end that we got with the digital mics. It's clearer and it's louder. Placement had less effect on coloring the sound. There was very little color uh, in the reproduction. My impressions was that I was just hearing a whole new dimension that wasn't even there when I was listening with the other microphones. It opened a whole new world to us to what was in the high end that we weren't receiving before. And also the sound just sounds um, fuller. It got all the high end, like it didn't sound really shrill when you recorded into it, it just kind of filled out the sound, made it seem more complete. As room mics, the KMD actually picked up much more ambient noise in a pleasing way. We got a lot of room sound too. We filmed, or we uh, recorded facing the wall, like, so the mic was here. I was over here playing against the wall, just like straight towards it, trying to get the reverberations of the room. And it, it still sounded great. It sounded like we were really close to it. All in all, it was just phenomenal. You just gotta make sure you get a good player on there because you're gonna hear the mistakes. The KMD just had much more available uh, signal as, as you could hear audibly anyway, but it just was really much more usable. So um, in any application like that, I, would, I wouldn't hesitate to use them again. It gave us all the definition, all of the tone, everything that we wanted from the sound. The digital mics definitely picked up what the essence of the instrument. They sounded more like what the instrument sounded like to my ears. I felt it was pretty easy, straightforward, intuitive. Uh, I felt like if you knew how to operate a mixing console that uh, using that software was very straightforward. Working with the software interface of the digital mics was not very hard. It was almost intuitive. It looked, it was simple to understand, it was simple to work with, and in terms of learning how to use it, it took a minute max, less than that. In terms of putting the gain up, it was a slide, it was as easy as sliding the mouse up and down while clicking, it was, it was pretty straightforward. Yeah, I thought it was easy to use, really cool. I really liked the built-in limiters. I liked to drive them pretty hard. Um, you know, I thought the software was cool, very easy to use. I like having all the controls laid out right there. That one was pretty easy because, yeah, it's just popped up, like this small little windows at the, like the left corner of the computer. So initially I thought it was going to be difficult, but when actually using it, for myself, it was actually quite simple, like adjusting the gain, applying a limiter, it was completely, it worked really well alongside of Pro Tools. Actually, I really like the RCS software. It integrated very easily with Pro Tools. One thing I really liked about it is the ability to um, modify my, uh, my gain uh, in 1 dB increments, as opposed to, uh, you know, in using virtual pre's I had to use you know, 3 dB increments, which just doesn't give you the type of fine quality control. This was especially helpful when I was um, doing the Tyco drums because there was that kind of sweet spot where if I could just move 1 dB up, 1 dB down, I could keep it in a range that everything was sweet. The, the, the lows were good, the highs weren't peaking or anything, and it just was overall, a, you know, a pleasure to use. Once you know the basics, it's 
fairly simple. It doesn't really hinder your recording process at all. It was definitely easy to use, um, very um, user friendly. Um, I mean, if you have any experience with like a, a preamp or anything like that, it's uh, just the same thing translated onto the screen and very easy to navigate and, and read as well. It, it, it was pretty streamlined into the process. Like it, it wasn't really a big deal to open that extra software in conjunction with Pro Tools. The workflow was super streamlined. It took five minutes to learn, and that's way better than my experience learning Pro Tools. So I would totally recommend it. Oh, absolutely. 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 I would love to. Definitely. I would definitely love to work with the digital microphones again. I would definitely like to use these microphones in the future. Definitely. I would love to use these microphones again. Definitely. When I am a millionaire, I will buy all of these microphones. <laughs> They're great. They're totally worth the investment. I definitely want to set aside money to get one or two of these mics. Totally. Um, I would definitely like to hopefully purchase some one day when I build my mic collection, um, but still working on that. So I would say, yeah, I would definitely use them again and recommend them to others. Because they sound awesome. There's just, you know, I, whatever, with a lot of microphones that I've used in the past, you're always kind of sacrificing some portion of the sound or you're sacrificing something. It's gonna give me a kind of, I'm choosing my microphone based on how it's gonna make the sound sound, but with these I can actually get, I can use my ear and listen and hear what I wanna hear. Kind of in comparison with the other mics, it's just that you get something so much more out of that instrument that you're, you're using it for. Because of the reproduction quality, uh, the reproduction was very pristine. Um, ethnomusicologists, we do field recording, and so our goal is to get as close to a reproduction of what you hear with your two ears um, on the recording um, as out in the field. Um, so if I could get that kind of quality in a field recording, it would be absolutely fantastic. I would say they're kind of the next big thing in microphone technology. What's great is they sound great, they have a very, very low noise floor, and they're impossible to overload. So even taking all precautions, you know, you can all of a sudden have a huge transient, you're tracking drums or something, and it just isn't really a problem for these mics. And it's easy within the software to just quickly uh, take down the gain a little bit and you're set. When we want to get like an overall sound of things, I think I would definitely use that. I have a feeling that because they picked up the three things I recorded were the guitar, the electric guitar, and drum overheads, and they picked up the sound of those all those in instruments fa fairly accurately. And as a as someone who doesn't have millions and millions of dollars to spend right now, the reason I would want one of those a digital mic in my arsenal of mics to use is because for right now I think a digital mic could help me record the most variety of things the most accurately that I can instead of having specific mics with specific instruments right now because I'm starting off as a sound engineer. Fidelity of sound is like key when you're trying to create something for other people to appreciate and it is much easier to appreciate music or any other recorded sound when it is it's if you can if it seems like you're there listening to the source it's so much more powerful and it is more of an experience rather than just putting something on and t tuning out, you know? I mean, you really want to stand out in music production and this is kind of a good way to do it, I think, creating your own sound. There are just so many available options to like experiment around with them. I mean, not only are they a good sound, but you can just get so much more from those mics than you would from any other. Pretty much it. Okay. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you, Neumann. <laughs>